with me in the Sydney studio from Archer Exploration is Mohammed Shakir. Mohammed, we were speaking quite recently. You were telling me that uh, the plan moving forwards was to fill your channels with IP, and you've just signed an exclusive agreement with the Uni of Sydney regarding quantum computing technology. So, congratulations. The plan seems to be coming to fruition. Yeah, it's an exciting time for Archer. I was really happy to get that uh, license agreement signed before the end of the year. And uh, you're right, it's a exclusive license agreement with the University of Sydney to uh, potentially break through quantum technology. So this sounds like pretty groundbreaking stuff globally, Mohammed. How has a small Aussie company managed to position themselves here? Well, I, I guess you're right. Uh, in a way, the, the barriers to entry into quantum computing and technology can be seen as quite high from both a technical and commercial point of view. But this is where you know, the value in obtaining this license agreement lies. And, and this is why we were really focused on getting this license agreement before December, because now that we do have this exclusive license, we've been able to overcome these barriers to entry and maybe start setting a few of our own. Can you tell us more about the commercial terms of the deal? Well, I can tell you more about the license itself and what that means. So we have a exclusive license to the intellectual property to commercialize the intellectual property. And a part of that commercialization is the technical development and also the business development aspects. Uh, we also have an option to buy the IP at a, at a reached milestone. Uh, and that milestone is based on technical development because it's a technical development that really underpins the business development and enables the business development. Uh, and the third thing is that we have an opportunity to also sub-license the IP, which uh, all three together there is, is really, really useful for Archer moving forward. Let's talk specifically about this technology. What is it that you're trying to achieve? So the technology is based on materials that we have available in our inventory. And what we're trying to achieve is a device. Uh, it's a quantum computing device. It forms the processing unit of a quantum computer. And we're trying to, to build this. And this device could potentially operate at room temperature and be integrated into modern electronics. So it could potentially be in every computer and a number of other kinds of devices? Yeah, I think where the value lies in the technology is that we're able to, to make it accessible. And so when you think of devices, electronic devices, you want them to be useful and practical. And so in a sense, this is a potential solution to practical quantum computing. So I understand that uh, achieving processing at room temperature is a major stumbling block for the progression of this, this new world. Yes, and uh, you know, the materials that form the basis of this technology are able to provide a potential solution to this by being able to process quantum information at room temperature and at the same time being able to be integrated into electronics. So the solution that this technology offers is a unification of these two uh, grand challenges. So uh, the IP itself uh, describes a technology which hasn't been built yet, but We've done a lot of the work previously while I was at the University of Sydney to demonstrate that it is uh, very feasible to do so. So your subsidiary, Carbon Allotropes, does hold the materials. What are these materials we're talking about? What kind of supply do you have on your hands? Yeah, so they're carbon-based materials and one of them is graphene, which is uh, important to Archer, of course. Uh, but the others are nanomaterials that are available in our inventory. So in addition to developing the tech itself, Archer has a commercialization plan for it. Can you share this with us? Yes, uh, I can share the fact that we do have a commercialization plan moving forward. And uh, you know, it's a disruptive innovation. And so we do need to be very clear on the technical aspects, the commercial aspects uh, moving forward. And of course, this goes back to our previous conversations about our three-prong approach to where we want to deliver value to our, to our shareholders and the company moving forward. And uh, with the commercialization plan, we have a technical development stream and a business development stream. Um, and of course, the prosecution of the IP, the, the intellectual property is, is handled by the University of Sydney. Uh, but we can always, and we will do so, uh, to summarize where we are at with that uh, to our shareholders. And moving forward to 2019, what is the big picture? So again, from the commercialization plan, uh, we, we are looking forward to technical developments. We are looking forward to business developments, uh, onboarding key personnel, and also uh, much of the same when it comes to really robust collaboration agreements with institutes that can provide us with uh, the, the infrastructure that we need to move forward with our commercialization plan. Mohamed Shakir, thank you. No problem, my pleasure.